Looking forward to tonight's two films. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. It should be great. Since the feature is called Shut Up and Sing, I was wondering if you could sing a little oh, little tune. Like what? Just any or maybe some Prince. I'll start you I off. Look and then... at this hair, Prince. I don't know. Yeah. I want to be your fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so excited to, to see this movie tonight. Everybody's getting popcorn. Sponsored by Acura. Hope she likes my belt buckle. If Molly Shannon don't like it, then nobody will. Uh, tell us a little bit about your role in this picture. Um, well, I uh, my character is um, I play the whoa. Okay. <laughs> my character is kind of a pent up um, wife. You know, she's a little frustrated. Her husband's so uptight. She wants him to like let loose. She's a little dirty, a little raunchy. She likes to have fun and get wild and. Um, so basically she has this like friction with her husband because she's like just kind of pissed that he doesn't loosen up a little more. And, but basically it's you know all these friends getting together for this weekend in the Hamptons for a friend's wedding and uh, things happen from there. So it's a great story. Now. Gotta ask Molly Shannon, one of the most amazing comedians ever and it's such an honor to meet you. Thank what do you, you think of my bling belt buckle? Oh wow, that's a David. You like it? I love it. Wait, so Thank you. DavidJr.com. Yeah, my Ooh, Thank very you. fancy. Oh, Behind me here, <laughs> lovely and talented Elizabeth Reeser. She's in Sweetland, Puccini for Beginners, uh, The Family Stone. I mean, the girl's just blowing up. She's big time. We're very happy to have her in our film, and she's a mwah, fabulous actress. What was the inspiration for doing this picture? Uh, I, it's semi-autobiographical. I uh, sang in an acapella group in college, and again, as an, with an alumni group in, uh, in uh, New York. And uh, there's one of my singing buddies saying hello to me from up above. It's indescribable. It's indescribable. Um, uh, the Big Chill meets the Rat Pack is sort of the thing. A bunch of guys in college knew each other. They were in an acapella singing group. Uh, I sang bass, you could tell. And, um, and they're back together for a friend's wedding. And it's very interesting. We see who's changed, who hasn't, and how it affects all their lives. Yeah. What can you tell a young town of today that's maybe very discouraged of how difficult it is to make it in the business? And what was like the lowest point in your career where you thought, you know what, maybe I don't think I can make it, but now you're doing well, so. I, you know what, um, great advice for someone at the, that low point in their career when they think they can't make it um, is uh, get up again the next morning, that's it. And, and the low point of my career was uh, two years ago and also on Wednesday and might be probably on Friday and you just get up and keep going. That's it. Tell us a little bit about your role in this picture. Well, it was a long time ago, so I'm not sure that I remember. But uh, uh, I play a disgruntled divorcee. What was your inspiration for, for the role? The character really reminded me of a friend of mine that, uh, that I was in high school with. Although he wasn't divorced, he was uh, disgruntled. Uh, you excited for tonight? Yes. Tell us a little bit about your character. Her name is Elsa. She's a Swedish nanny. And I'm um, Swedish, so you know, it's very appropriate. Oh, cool. I'm from Connecticut, so. I've been there a lot of oh, times. Cool. How much fun was it working on this picture? It was fun because of them, right? So much fun. Everyone was just glowing, and it was one. Of, it's a small film, but we all stayed together for a month and and just yeah. and just laughed. It's like camp, like summer camp. What do you guys want the viewers to take away from this film? Thirty something, fun, nostalgia, but like knowing that life continues even though you've graduated college, and and it's actually a great life if you've got great friends. And I'm still not famous. I'm still Ah, I like that podcast. Our movie cool. is a very serious hit? movie yeah. about an intervention that happens upon him. The intervention is, is an unlikely one. I can't really tell you what it's about because it's kind of a surprise. Well, I'll tell you. Force him to come out of the closet. And it doesn't go well. Cool. How was it working for this guy? Uh, it was great because... Uh, 
he like pulled the top and the top just started spinning. And uh, I like that. that was the entire shoot. Thank you all for coming. I know it's a big night of television. And, uh, <laughs> I have two TiVos running at home, okay? So I have Desperate Housewives, I have Family Guy, and I have The Sopranos. If you need it, I'll burn you a DVD, you're covered, okay? So just sit back and relax and enjoy the movie. Extra treat. <laughs> Next. Uh, my cohorts who helped inspire this film, uh, various singers all, are going to sing what's actually in the end credits here. Oh. Life's gonna suck when you grow up, when you grow up, when you grow up. Life's gonna suck when you grow up, it sucks pretty bad right now. You're gonna have to mow the lawn, do the dishes, make your bed. You're gonna have to go to school until you're 17. You might have to go to war, shoot a gun, kill a nun. You might have to go to war when you get out of school. Good happen. You're gonna have to deal with stress. Deal with stress! Deal with stress! You're gonna be a giant mess when you get back from the war. Santa Claus does not exist and there's no Easter Bunny. You'll find out when you grow up that Big Bird isn't funny. Funny! <laughs> Life's gonna suck when you grow up, when you grow up, when you grow up. Life's gonna suck when you grow up, it sucks pretty bad right now. You're gonna end up smoking crack on your back, face the crack. You're gonna wind up with dunce back and then you're gonna die. Hey! And then you're gonna hang out a lot before filming or I mean because you guys really did gel well together um, they didn't have a lot of time together because indie films you can't really afford rehearsal unfortunately but, we had to um, live but yeah. they did have to live together and that was kind of an intentional thing uh, would you like to comment on that that was it that was my <laughs> we had about a week of boot camp where they learned uh, the ins and outs of a cappella singing, which is not an easy thing to do. And Samrat is a professional and does all that vocal percussion quite amazingly. Like this. <laughs> Shut up and sing. <laughs> That's how we do it. It was a really unique um, sort of process. We all live together. I think Bruce had such a sweet, authentic desire to tell this story, and he really cared, and he was so cool and kind and generous. The thing about working with Bruce is that he wrote this really great script and then hired all these, I think, really interesting actors and then kind of let them do their thing. Bruce was so excited about telling this story and the fact that he put his heart into it and his, his money and his time, and he had, like he said, he had worked on this script for 10 years, putting scenes together. It was just, to be a part of that, like somebody's dream that they're so passionate about, just feels amazing. And uh, to shoot a whole movie in 22 days is like, uh, you know, an acting workshop because you're, you're shooting so much so quickly that you don't, you know, you just finish the scene and go on to the next and it's, it's great practice as an actor. And because there were no dressing rooms or anything, I don't know say that. We, all, we all hang out all together all the time in a big tent. I played a big support part, I think, and a lot of me being here had everything to do with the fact that Bruce trusted me, and I have to thank him endlessly for that one. Buddy, what'd you think? Uh, it, was, it was a good film. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was uh, very reminiscent of such classics as The Big Chill for this generation. Oh, Did a great job, 24 days shooting or 22 days shooting schedule, awesome. Great cast, casting director did a fantastic job and uh, it was worthy of gen art. Cool, what did you think of the short? Uh, I enjoyed that too, I thought it was pretty funny and then it got a little serious, it uh, surprised me a little bit. <laughs> I just enjoyed it. How did you like it? Loved it, great movie. Very good movie. Great. We thought it was fantastic. Oh, great. Both yeah. of them? Both of them were great. Oh, good. But you guys want to you guys want to sing a little? Oh, sure. Sing a little a cappella? Oh, <laughs> like Prince or something? Nobody? No, thank uh, you. Okay. Come on. Turn down before. Just 
No one else being so charming. Really liked it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the short? Um, that was that was an interesting take. I liked it, especially given um, all the new shows recently about intervention. Cool. You guys want to sing a little acapella or like Prince, Purple Rain or something? No? No, sorry. <laughs> Everybody's turning me down. So what would y'all think of the short? Well, that's our favorite short of all time. I mean, we've seen that before because we saw it at the Miami uh, Film Festival. Basically, the Duplass brothers are incredible. They have a feature film called The Puppy Share. It's coming out in June. Everything I've seen that they've done, I've been totally impressed with. So I'm a big yeah. fan of the Duplass brothers. Yeah, and um, and it is a great great moment. The idea, like, that you could have an intervention for somebody because you know you need to intervene and like help them come out with their sexuality or whatever. So it's just like the, the whole play on like just you know alcoholism and everything. It's just it's it's, it's really spot on. I think. It's clever. Cool. It's very clever. Yeah. So what about the feature? I thought the feature was good. Guys to guys, girls to girls, the whole just like um, camaraderie. If because I've been in a band before, so I kind of know the camaraderie behind like you can have all these bandmates and there can be all this other drama going on and it's hugely about like the relationship very much from the guy perspective. So in lieu of the feature film, you want to maybe sing something, do a little Prince or acapella? Well, okay, actually I was in acapella class for about a semester. So one thing that I know that you can do is go, I know, I know, I know, I know. And then you go up a half a step, I know. That's a little bit off. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, another thing you do is like go, like lift, push on your gut. And my, my singing teacher said, it's okay to walk around like that on campus or whatever. People are going to think you're weird, but that develops your diaphragm. You can really project if you do that enough. To... So th those are a couple exercises that I know just for my short couple weeks. That's how I felt when I met you two for the first time. I was so nervous. I was, oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. But cool. Good to see you all and let's go to the after party. Singing that soul to soul, soul, soul. Brother, to brother. brother to brother, acapella, acapella, and it sounds good to me. Singing that soul to soul to soul, brother to brother, brother, brother. acapella, acapella, and it sounds good to me. Well, I just wanted understood. My boys bought boogie to your neighborhood, and they'll stand under the light. Hey, 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 they'll sing out to yeah, yeah. It's just that good old acapella, and it sounds so sweet. I'm alive and I'm proud to be here singing that good old harmony. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Day five is rock. I feel like it's day three. I don't even feel like it's day like three or, or, or two or four, but it's not. It doesn't even feel day five to me. I feel like we got days to go. I feel like I'm, I'm just warming up. You know what I mean? Like it's just the fire is starting, but it's not all the way done. Like I'm on I'm on simmer, but I've already boiled, but now I'm simmering and I'm ready to go. So ladies, what's going on tonight? You having fun? Yes, I'm having fun. Are you? So much fun. I'm drinking straight up water. <laughs> That's a smart choice. Molly Shannon, she was so funny. <laughs> my journal. They tell us like Are you guys having fun tonight? Yeah. How can you not have fun? It's a gen art party. I mean, come on. I bought, I bought the paper gen art. It was really it was good to see them. The film was unbelievable. It was a great experience. You having fun? Yes, I love it. Gen Art is fantastic. What you drinking? Oh, um, I'm drinking a lot, a lot of vodka. I'm having fun. Let me see the bling, man. Come drinking? on, show the bling. I got a little bit of bling, but not like your bling. What are you oh, drinking cool. tonight? Hey, just this to start. Dave, what up? Yeah. Having fun tonight, buddy? Word. Having a good time. Thank you very much.
My name is davidjr.com.